Okay, here we are. We just added our black and white adjustment layer. <clears throat> if I look at the example that I showed earlier about what we'll be making here, there's like this plasma background, um, just to give it some otherworldly visual interest, I guess. There's kind of like this magenta color to blue, and there's a texture laid over it. Let's work on that now. Uh, so let me go back to our file here. So we're going to use a brush, uh, paintbrush, and paint over this. So first of all, our black and white layer is selected over here. Let's make a new layer by hitting the new layer icon, uh, making a new layer, and let's name it right away. Let's call it Plasma. Okay, and um, we're going to use the brush tool. So you can come over here in the toolbar and you can select this brush tool or you can just simply hit the letter B on the keyboard which is what I prefer to do. You should get used to using keyboard shortcuts in Photoshop. It makes your life easier. So I hit B for brush tool. The brush tool is activated and then up here you'll get um, the brush icon and next to that the size of the brush. Also the opacity and the flow. Uh, Minor, yours are probably default to 100 and 100. <clears throat> but this icon here, that, and your this number will be different on yours. Hit the drop down menu here and make sure you choose soft round, okay? Soft round brush. And for the technique that we're going to be using, uh, we're going to like layer over colors, you know, very light thin low opacity colors. So let's crank down our opacity a whole bunch to like maybe 15 and possibly I might change these. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to crank down my flow to about 30 and I'll see if this works. Alright, so I got my brush set up. 300 pixels, opacity, flow. Double click on the color picker. Uh, or the foreground color. I'm sorry, it's not a color picker. Double click on the foreground color to bring up the color picker. And use your slider to slide up into the magenta area here. And I'm just going to choose a saturated color. If you want to follow me exactly, here's the RGB settings. You can type those in to the color picker, but just like a, a magenta color. Now, to vary the brush size uh, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can come way over here, hit this drop down menu, and use the slider to vary the brush size. Or, much simpler, and what I recommend is use the bracket keys on the keyboard. If I hit the bracket key next to the letter P on the keyboard, the brush gets smaller. If I hit the bracket key next to the letter, ne or hit the bracket key next to the forward slash, the brush gets larger. So I'm going to kind of like freeform this and see how it goes. So okay, so I have my using the bracket key next to the forward slash, I set the brush to 500. And let me look at my example again. See, I went from this one I went to like a magenta to a blue color. So let's just see how that works. So um, I'm just going to paint over this and What's cool about digital art, if you mess up, if you don't like what you want, what you you can do a command Z to to uh, deselect, and I'm gonna vary my brush size a little bit. I'm just hitting the bracket key, and actually this um, so where I want more intense. Colors. I'm gonna. I'm rapidly clicking. You know, to, to build up. Some areas are more intense. Magenta, and I'm clicking just to just to get some variations in the uh, color and density of this. And don't worry if if you're if what you make looks ugly, just do a command A to select it and uh, delete everything. Make sure you're on the plasma layer here, on your own layer. Okay, so that's, I don't know, it's not going to, this work is not going to go into the Guggenheim, but it looks okay. I got some, like, varying densities there, so I'm going to go to a, a, a blue color, um, kind of an annoying 
that looks okay I guess that might work um, so here's my RGB settings for this blue I'm selecting Lord knows if it'll work okay I'm gonna increase my brush and just make some blue over here then I'm gonna decrease my brush to you know get some more density going on here Just clicking, holding, dragging, and because I got this opacity and flow settings like really low, you know, I, I got a lot of room to play around here. Okay, so um, that looks like a hideous mess, right? Don't worry, we're going to do something else to it in the next video.